Now, Pakistan's dwindling situation is no secret to anyone. A day after making the announcement that they were all set to get the approval for a $1 billion bailout from the IMF, it seems that the celebrations were rather premature. Now, Pakistan's Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif has opened up about the new roadblocks being created by the funding body to approve the bill, adding that the IMF has no reason to delay the loan that Pakistan has been seeking to help to stabilize its rocking boat economy. Now, according to reports, China and the UAE have approved loans worth $2 billion and $3 billion to help Islamabad to secure the IMF bailout. But the IMF has asked for further necessary financing assurances to pave the way for the completion of the ninth review of the $7 billion program. The specifics of the further assurances needed by the IMF have not been revealed so far, according to reports. Now, the statement came from the IMF mission chief to Pakistan, Nathan Porter, a day after the finance minister, Ishak Dar, announced the confirmation of $1 billion in bilateral financial support to Pakistan. This funding was believed to be the last prior action for staff-level agreement with the global lender for the crisis-hit nation. This new announcement by the IMF is being looked at as another roadblock in the way of Islamabad to receive the said loan. According to top diplomats in Islamabad, Pakistan has fulfilled all the conditions to receive the said loan of $1 billion from the International Monetary Fund. Speaking during a ceremony in Lahore, Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif said that the IMF had set a condition to arrange funds from friendly countries before it signed a staff-level agreement. And so, to meet the IMF's last condition, efforts were put in for over one and a half months to first have a rollover of $2 billion from China and then $3 billion from Saudi Arabia and the U.S. Referring to the terms of the Global Lender for Seeking Loan Agreements, Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif said that the IMF has no excuse to delay the loan and added that Pakistan was not created to act like a beggar. Prime Minister Sharif also thanked a key person who made sure that Pakistan would get critical funds from the two Arab countries, none other than the Army Chief General Asif Munir. He said, and I quote, The Chief of Army Staff General Asim Munir has contributed to the government's efforts to secure funds from Saudi Arabia and the UAE. With more roadblocks being imposed by the IMF, Pakistan continues to face severe economic crisis and no respite for the ordinary Pakistanis struggling with the rising prices and unaffordable cost of living.